All right, y'all, back with Base with Gary. Today, we're going to pull out these 218s. If you see the car, I, I'm not even going to show y'all the car. But check this out. We're about to pull these 218s. I'm going fiberglass on the inside of this box. So, hold this poop. Don't shine the light at it. Shine it at yourself. Yeah. So, we're going to pull these subs out, which they ain't even in here all the way tight because he done beat all the damn... Um, he beat all the screws loose and shit. To let y'all know, these are the SAV2s, 18. Same exact speakers that I got inside the Tahoe. These screws little as hell. That one bent. So, let's see. I'm gonna unscrew this one. Scoot over some. You paying attention to it? You got your finger in front of my video, right? <laughs> right. So, the first one is unscrewed. We're going to work on the second one. Put that light down. I'm sleepy. Uh, I'm about to lose my helper, y'all. Come record this one, and then you can bounce. And I'll figure out how to do it myself. So I'm unscrewing this one, too. I'm going to have to go find me something to get it out of here. Try my best not to stab the speaker. I got a torch drill <laughs> and we stabbed the speaker to be bad. Yep. 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 We also gonna move the box the um the amp to the trunk. He's supposed to be wrapping this car soon, so you know I'm trying to I'm gonna try to progress the sis the situation. He wrap no, he gonna paint the car. So you know, we just trying to make the box sound a little bit better and a little bit deeper. So right now, I couldn't tell you where the box is tuned to unless I hit up one of my peoples and go from there. So let's see if I can get him out. There you go. That joker heavy. Gracious. All right, let's go look for a screwdriver. I'm about to let you go, baby. We're going to go look for a screwdriver. Y'all see my messy, John. I've been out here all day taking a gas tank out of the Tahoe. I ain't letting you go yet. Go see if you see my mount in there. What is that? For my camera so I could just set it up. Yeah, we took. I took the, not we, I took the gas tank out of the Tahoe. There it is right there. I ended up, let me switch this around. I ended up, dang, buying the wrong fuel pump, trying to be cheap about the whole situation. So, I could, I took the fuel pump out. I had to cut a couple things. But when I go to put it back in or whatever like that, I'm going to make sure that I put it in the right way. The pump ain't coming for till Tuesday. So, I got to wait for the pump to come in. Then I'll put it back in. I, Boy, look at here. That joker dog on there had dog on there. It almost had a whole, a full tank of gas. So what I ended up doing is taking the gas out of the Tahoe and putting it inside Denise. I put it inside wifey car. I put it inside my daughter car. No, the other one. So we're going to try to do what we got to do to get, you know, get the Tahoe back up and running. I'm going to end up, I got to tear the system out of the truck because I got an issue with the base. It's like... I don't know how to say it. It is. It turned around. Let's see if I can set the camera here and talk to y'all while I do this. Uh, Josh. Hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. All right, so. All right, oh, shoot. This one here, don't act like you don't want to hold it. All right, so I'm back, y'all. I got to use this mount right here because. Turn around, I don't know where my other one is at. But like I said, dang. I had to fuel, pull the fuel pump. I went through a whole bunch of stuff trying to figure out, you know, what was going on with the um, truck and stuff. Everybody's saying fuel, spark, and water, I mean air, uh, have it doing what it's doing. But what it was is damn, where the fuck is this run? I think I ran this. Yeah, it was running at a half. I had the positives. It's positive, positive, negative, negative running out. The box is sealed. 
Let me show y'all this. The box is sealed up. They caulked all the corners and everything like that, but that's how low it is inside the trunk and everything. The speaker damn near touching the bottom. So let's set that in there. Let's see if it'll spin for me so y'all can see. Uh, turn it on. Trying something new. This port's so little. I don't think it want to spin, y'all. Oh, there you go. There go the wall. There go the box. There go a port. There go another port over there. All right, we're going to stop it right there. It's spent all the way around so y'all can see. Let's move it up so you can see the speaker in here. That looked like it was cool just now, but it's positive, positive, negative, negative. Running, whatever. But the other one ain't in here, so it's no use to damn spin the speaker. So y'all can see. Um, Like I said, it's ran out of half a ohm. Damn, did that to, you know, you know, su such another or whatever, but... My boy made the, he made the ham out of this box, bruh. He then detailed, you know, all the corners and everything. If you look at each corner, when it's spent around, each corner, I think, is caulked up. Like this one right here, he made a bend in the dang on box to get it to do what it got to do. But it ain't, it ain't fiberglass up there. And turn around, they got a massive ass wolfer. And it ain't, it ain't, you know... It ain't too much I can say about it because it is what it is. It's in here. But it do sound good for what it is and everything like that. They go to massive speaker. But I think I had, I don't know. I should and I shouldn't. They ain't going to um, do what I was going to do. I was going to fiberglass the floor to make a different sound. But I think I'm going to just end up caulking up a little bit more. I don't know why. This is right here, and it ain't doing that. That's too little, and it's not centered for one. So basically, the air comes down in the box. Let's move you back some. The air comes down in the box, and then hit this wall. That's a little lip, and then go that way. You know what I'm saying? So the speaker's beating or whatever like that. I know I'm talking too much, but I'm trying to get this video done. So yeah, here go the massive 18. It's turn around. I keep saying turn around, but <laughs> it is what it is. The box look good. It's decent. It's in here. So I think I'm going to just put it back in. And then I'm going to come back with another video. I, I'm going to forget about another video. But I'm going to come back with another video. And then I'm going to show y'all. I don't know. I, I'll i figure something out. It, it's just hard to say that I'm going to do something to somebody else's car. You know what I'm saying? But I think if we dynamat the whole trunk area, let's look at that. If we dot all around here, here, and so forth all the way around, we won't get the, the nonchalant that we had going on. And then put the amp back there and screw it down. But that, that's going to cause for me to take this box out of here. I'll get to, you know, taking the box out later on. But right now, they go one of the 18s out of my 618s right there. So, hold on. I'll be right back. All right. So, also, we were supposed to mess with his rims on his car. This client right here is real particular about these dub ballers, and he fell in love with them. Can you give me the um, wrench? Sorry. He real particular about these dub ballers. He fell in love with them, so... What I'm going to end up doing is, I need to find me a new wrench. I don't know, how the hell he do this? Let's see. I'm going to go to bed now. Work. Love you. See, now it ain't turning because the dang is not catching the catch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it back off. Ugh. If I know how to work his wrench. I got a wrench. I just don't feel like looking for it. I might have to look for it because this joke act like it ain't want to move. Did I move it? Nope. Let's see. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's not moving. I don't know how the hell that he did this, but there we go. Now it's moving in the opposite direction. Let me let y'all see what I'm doing so you're not just looking at me. So the whole thing. Right now we're pulling the spinner off of the car. We got dub baller spinners. So I'm taking them off. I'm gonna put some E6000 is a glue. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. This is the glue right here, E6000. Oh, right there, E6000. So we're gonna use some of this. I'm gonna show y'all how he got it in here. So y'all can see what I'm talking about if y'all ever wanna try this. We was supposed to order new ones. But, you know, we didn't order the newer ones. This is the spinner right here. Y'all can see it a bit clean. And a bit heavy. It's shit. Where the damn thing go? So the rim been rubbing on there. Oh, there it is. The race. Alright, so this is the race right here. That he want glued to this so the spinner could just spin on that instead of damn instead of rubbing on the um the side of the car or whatever so let's turn it around so y'all can see what i'm talking see right here how it's rubbed against and it was hitting all in here like when i rolled down the street it was like so i didn't like that and i'm thinking that if y'all know this tire looked flat to me you know what i'm saying it's little rubber band tires, but this this joke is so heavy till you can't tell if it's like flat or not. You see what I'm saying? I'm pushing on this John. It don't it, it just looks flat to me. I'm not into rims like that. But now we're gonna try to get this E6000 to go on this thing right here. This little race. We're gonna put some in it and we're gonna put some around it. It's gonna keep the rim, the floater spinning. But it's not going... No, I need to put some gloves on. I don't want this sticky junk on my hand. I got to do it for three wheels and get it to glue down and stuff. So, got to get me a glove. Like I said, I, I've been procrastinating all day to do stuff and, you know, try to get it done in the junk. But now I got it. I got a little momentum. It, it, right now, to be exact, it's 12 midnight. I'm going to add another piece to this video. Alright, now I'm squeezing the E6000 inside here. Just, uh, it's not going to, I might, I'm going to just squeeze a whole bunch in there. And then I'll rub it around. Alright, my finger in there. I'm spreading it around on the inside of the, um, the little race john. Which, I'm going to put some more. Because this stuff sits... This is what I glued my speaker back in with, to tell you the truth. If y'all watching the video all the way through right now, I thank you for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this with some more people so we can get to a bigger following on Base with Gary, yo. So, now I just put the race on. I'm going to let that sit. Because I, I really don't want it to be, you know get the threads and stuff into it but i got it on there the e6000 is real sticky so i'm gonna put it on there just like it is and i'm gonna pull it forward some i might pull it forward a little more i'm gonna leave it just like that i got it to the point that let's see which finger not sticky i got it to the point where it's just barely it ain't to the back of it, but it ain't all the way to the front of it. You know, I don't want to put it flush and then it still don't do what it's supposed to do. So that's that one there. And like I said, we got the dub ballers on here, <coughs> which I might end up taking this cap off and putting, um, putting, just taking it off, period. Let's go check something out. Because we got the front one right there. We got all of them on there. I'm going to end up, you know, hooking them up. 
this one see watch you see so when you spin it that bit chopping yo y'all see that that bit chopping now and we also got one on this one here let's see yeah that's one too it been rubbing like right up in here you can see it you see what i'm talking about you hear it so i'm gonna take this one right here off the front one doesn't finish spinning and i'm gonna leave y'all right here this is my project for right now the dub ball is on the box like comment subscribe please share my video share it on facebook share it on instagram and all of that thank you for watching peace out